Okay, what is Agile Leadership? You've probably heard a lot about the term Agile Leadership, and it's something that I spend a lot of my time on, working with people in all sorts of organizations to help them develop a sense of Agile Leadership. So I thought I'd spend just a couple of minutes explaining my take on what Agile Leadership is all about. So when I say Agile Leadership, I'm not talking about a particular style of leadership. For example, servant leadership, uh, where the aim is to serve first and then lead, or serve through the enablement of others. I'm not talking about autocratic leadership, that kind of style where the leader tells people what's needed, and sometimes even tells them how to do things. When I talk about agile leadership, I'm also not talking about leaders at the top of an organization adopting a more agile mindset, something that you might get from the Agile Manifesto or something like Scrum. When I talk about agile leadership, I'm talking about servant leadership and autocratic leadership and other styles. I'm talking about leaders at the top of an organization adopting a more agile mindset and leadership being spread throughout the organization so that everyone is both able to and confident to lead when it's appropriate for them to do so. And that's important now. I mean, I might even say essential for many organizations because of the complexity and the pace of change. So I help organizational leaders establish what I call a more resilient and coherent culture. Now that's a culture where everybody knows the appropriate way to act and the appropriate form of leadership for the particular context that they find themselves in at the time. Now that ultimately leads to a level of standardization because everybody's making decisions and adopting behaviors based on a common understanding of context. But it also leads to autonomy because everyone's making the specific decisions appropriate to their context rather than escalating things up looking for a decision or looking for processes or documentation to instruct them how to act. Now a lot of people come to me wondering what their role is now as a leader in a more agile, empowered or resilient and coherent organization because it's one where it's not about knowing all the answers or figuring it out for yourself or telling people what to do and traditional leaders, leaders who've had success already think well that's what I have done. Uh, dealing with people, dealing with teams who have different levels of autonomy and confidence requires a lot of leadership flexibility. It'll call on lots of different personal attributes as well because sometimes you'll be directing, sometimes you'll be guiding, sometimes you'll be enabling, sometimes you'll be coaching and a lot of that stuff will be happening multiple times with multiple different people in multiple different contexts every day. So leaders need to be a lot more agile in terms of their flexibility of their leadership approach and making sure there's coherence through their behaviors and the rest of the organization. So that's what I mean by agile leadership. I hope that made sense and I also hope it sparked a few questions or some conversation threads. So let me know what you think. Get in touch, add some comments, email me, whatever.